Hello. In this session, we will create a simple morph effect using the Niagara system. First, we generate a Niagara system by adding a directional burst emitter Next, in Properties, we check Local Space, and then set it to GPU to accommodate a large number of particles, after which we check Fixed Bounds. Subsequently, we remove all modules affecting the speed of the particle, as seen in the video. Also, to keep the particles alive in place once they are created, we remove the curve applied to Alpha in Scale Color and uncheck Kill Particles. When lifetime has elapsed in initialize particle, then to ensure the particles maintain a certain circular shape, we set alignment to unaligned in sprite renderer and sprite size to uniform in initialize particle. Next, to set the position of the mesh on which we wish to apply the morph effect, we create two sample static mesh modules. We then configure each module with the desired static mesh. Subsequently, we create a scratch module. To receive the positions of the two static meshes, we generate two position parameters and a float parameter, capable of performing the morph function in the map get node. Next, we create a lerp node and connect the previously created parameters to this lerp node. Here, we ensure the lerp value is restricted between 0 and 1 by connecting the float parameter to a saturate float node before connecting it to the lerp node. Next, we add the core parameter, position parameter, to the map set node and connect the lerp node to it, ensuring the particle's position corresponds to the position connected to the lerp node. We then set the position parameter in the scratch module to the mesh position provided by the sample static mesh module. Next, by raising the spawn count in spawn burst instantaneous, we ensure the static mesh appears clearly, and by adjusting the float parameter in the scratch module, you can observe the morph effect. We add a sign to the float parameter to alternate the mesh at regular intervals. Next, in scale color, we change RGB to linear color and add a lerp. Then we introduce a normalized float to the lerp factor ensuring values between 0 and 1 are received, and set the value parameter with a copy of the sign used previously in the scratch module. We also configure the desired colors in the linear color set in the lerp, so that the particles change to the set colors each time they morph. Now, place the completed Niagara system in the level to observe the morph effect.